Greetings, followers and Nyctophilonites and all of my friends and family who have gathered here today. Today is March of the Writers, Day 6, and your eulogy, writing your own eulogy. So, without further ado, let's move on over to the funeral and join the family and friends of Mr. Richard White. Welcome to Day 6 of March of the Writers, where we compose our eulogy. Write your own eulogy and what you want to be remembered for. Welcome, everyone. We are awaiting Richard's remains. It's kind of funny. He always said he would be late to his own funeral. And here we are, waiting for his ashes to arrive. Now that everyone has their seats, we can... Fade in, Richard's best friend, walks in with the ashes and places them at the altar. Of course he would. Now that you're all here, we'll just wait for you to take your seat. Welcome, everyone. Richard's life story is one of profound courage, resilience, and passion. As we gather today to celebrate Richard's life, we are reminded of a person who lived courageously, embraced adventure, and loved deeply. Richard was more than a soldier. He was a beacon of strength and valor, serving his country as an American cavalry scout and combat medic. His love for the great outdoors was evident in every breath he took. Whether it was the thrill of the hunt, the serenity of fishing, or the camaraderie of camping under the stars, Richard found solace and joy in nature's embrace. As a firefighter, Richard dedicated a decade of his life to selflessly serving others, risking his own safety to protect and save lives. His commitment to these professions was a testament to his compassionate nature and unwavering sense of duty. But Richard was more than that, titles and professions. He was an artist of the soul, a poet who fearlessly explored the depths of his being through verse. His poetry, born from the shadows of PTSD, anxiety and depression, illuminated the path to understanding and healing for countless souls. Family and friendship were the cornerstones of Richard's existence. His love for his family and his unwavering loyalty to his closest friends, especially his beloved brother Paul, knew no bounds. He was the kind of friend who would willingly lay down his life for those he held dear, a true testament to the depth of his love and devotion. His wife Rosalind and his daughter Madison were the very essence of his being and the reason he continued his life's journey to love and protect them. Throughout his life, Richard embraced various vocations from farming to masonry, carpentry and landscaping, yet it was his passion for being an EMT that truly ignited his soul. His pursuit of knowledge and self-improvement led him to pursue a BA in English and creative writing at Southern New Hampshire University. A testament to his insatiable thirst for understanding and expression. Despite the darkness that often clouded his path, Richard found moments of pure happiness in the company of friends around campfires and beneath the stars with the melodic strains of Kenny Chesney and his No Shoes Nation Jolly Roger flag flying in the breeze and country music as their backdrop. His dream of one day living in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina was a testament to his unwavering optimism and love for life. Today, as we bid farewell to Richard, let us not mourn his passing, celebrate the indelible mark he left on our hearts and souls. May his spirit live on in the memories we hold dear, and may his legacy of courage, love, and laughter continue to inspire us all. Rest in peace, dear friend. You will be deeply missed, but never forgot.